All right, on this one, we're going to subtract. Uh, by the way, they're the same numbers, which I hope you guys noticed. So I'll, when adding and subtracting, we place our numbers in standard form and then subtract them or add them. So I got a 6 and a 7 with 11 zeros. And there's our first number. We're going to be subtracting the next number, which would be 82 with 9 zeros. Now this is where we get the hard part right here. Huh? We got 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. And so after subtracting all the zeros, this is what we have right here. Huh? Now we need to change this 0 into a 10 and we'll borrow one from that 9er, which means we also have to borrow one from the 7 as well. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 8 is a Juan. 6 minus is 6. And 6 minus is 6. This is our standard form number, but what we really need is scientific notation, which means the decimal goes right after the first non-zero number farthest to the left. 6.618 times 10 to the power of, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there we go. See, I did that, that's pretty nice. There it is, yeah!